Good with passion you were again. Little, a little quieter this weekend. Yeah, it is. It's been very quiet the whole year. So obviously here we notice probably most because it's been the loudest race, especially for us. So um, very different this year. It will. And obviously different expectations on the back of Spa as well. Uh, I, I wouldn't say so. I think our expectations have been fairly low this year. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's been a tough year so far and it will be, will be a tough year until the end. But uh, I hope that we can be in a bit better place than Spa because we were at the back of the midfield and hopefully we can find ourselves in the middle and at the front rather than at the back. Uh, finally, from me, I understand you may have a new car in your collection uh, this week, a Red 5 to go along with you, Seb. As yeah, not just for a week, but I don't know how it now it became a news because it's already uh, a while ago, but um, yeah. Um, can I ask then, obviously there's some news today, Sir Frank and Claire stepping back, the Williams family won't be a part of the team anymore. What does they Williams... They can run my car. They can, well, I think you might, you might need somebody to, you <laughs> need an old computer to get it all fired up. Um, what do they mean uh, to you? And I know you love your history of the sport as well. What does Williams mean to the history of Formula One? Well, obviously I, you know, I cannot say that much about Claire because I, I never worked, you know, with her or drove for her, but... Uh, for Frank, I, I would at least say I did a little bit. I did my first Formula One test in Williams. Um, obviously, uh, I grew up with BMW at, the mo at that time. They were also together with BMW. And uh, yeah, I, I will not, not, I mean, it's obviously a shame. Uh, you know, Destiny has been quite tough on the team, but uh, especially on Frank. And uh, I think he's, he's one of those figures that uh, you don't come across them too often, you know, they're, they're, just, they're just a very, very rare species and uh, a great guy and I remember the first time I was in the factory and I did the seat, uh, he looked at me and I didn't look like, didn't look much like Alan Jones, you know, at 18 years old and I'm not the, you know, biggest built guy in the world either, so uh, his idea of Alan Jones in the car probably wasn't matched. But uh, yeah, since then, obviously, I did the test. I had a, a great time and, uh, you know, always had huge respect for, for Frank and, and for Williams. And uh, it's obviously a shame. Uh, I don't know if the name will be kept. I hope so, because uh, it stands for a lot of good things, uh, even though the last years have been tough, but uh, it stands for a lot of good things. And even people that are not too old do remember. So, uh, yeah, I wish both of them the best for their future. Um, and uh, I hope we still get to see them at the racetrack.